So I know we just talked about my man Spider Man, but how are we gonna talk about Spider Man and not Venom? What's going on, guys? Your boy Ush, of course, we're back in once again with some more Marvel news, specifically some MCU related news, and actually, it definitely is MCU related because, as the title might assume, or what you might get out of it, Venom. I mean, look, we, who who has not had that conversation? Is Venom gonna be in the MCU? Will we see Spider Man make an appearance in? a venom movie will venom somehow pop up in a marvel film that's in the mcu well hopefully we'll get some answers out of this uh segment here of course brought to us by the direct.com i'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can follow along i'm going to be reading not the entire thing but i'm going to be reading a specific quote that was highlighted by kevin feige of course himself the president of uh marvel studios so without further ado let's just go right into it we're gonna read over this and we will discuss this right after. In an interview with Rotten Tomatoes, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige commented on whether Sony's Venom could join the MCU in the future. Feige replied with a vague but intriguing answer. I wouldn't dismiss anything. That's the highlighted comment here. I don't want to obviously talk about rumors or speculation on what could happen and what couldn't happen as it relates to any characters that Marvel Studios hasn't brought to the screen yet, but I will say what I've always said, which is having been with Marvel for 20 years, I wouldn't dismiss anything. I wouldn't rule anything out completely. When and how and where remains to be seen. Any rumor that you read online could happen anytime between tomorrow and never. So I'm not going to lie. That's a very, very safe way to answer a pretty, I would say, weighted question considering how important Venom is or, or just how important a character Venom is in the overall Spider-Verse of things. Not directly the Spider-Verse, you know, animated film, but you know what I'm talking about. Venom is a very popular anti-hero, villain, whichever way you want to look at him. Funny enough, for as much as I love Spider-Man, I always thought Venom was just a straight-up villain, but I actually... Uh, came to learn later on in life that he's realistically an anti-hero, which is which is really is even better to to realize, right? So with Kevin Feige responding to Rotten Tomatoes in such a way, I think that's a really professional and smart way to answer because he, of course he's not fully denying it, but he's not even close to confirming it either. It kind of is a great it, it's a it's a very great way to respond to just about anyone who would ask him a relatable question to any other character for that matter, and of course. With Venom releasing very soon, I'm pretty sure it's coming out on uh, September 24th. That's like at the time of this video, it's like only like a few months away, realistically. We're in July right now, so to be quite honest, I'd, I'd expect to see the, the real answer once we see that movie, whether it's within the plot of the movie or whether it's during a post credit scene of some sort, because it's already been confirmed that this Venom takes place within the Sam Raimi or Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. And we and fans were already pointing that out just off of some of the direct images taken from the trailer that was seen in the last Venom 2 trailers, the, uh, um, the Carnage-related ones, of course, and that the Daily Bugle logos used for the Venom, like, you know, the set were all from that same Sam Raimi Spider-Man or Tobey Maguire Spider-Man film. So we can already assume that this Venom takes place in that time. So a lot of people were probably asking like, oh, well, if we're supposed to be seeing Tom Holland or, or are we going to be seeing Tom Holland? When are we going to see, be seeing Tom Holland? The, that's not actually the, the correct answer. Maybe the real, the real question should be, are we going to be seeing Tobey Maguire? show up somehow in that and i think that would probably give people an even bigger pop just because we haven't seen toby Maguire suit up or even step foot in any of these of these movies well we, who we have seen though is we've seen our version or the mcu's version of j jonah jameson from the daily planet i think it was which is i guess the internet version podcast version of what the daily bugle is in the mcu version of spider-man and the fact that they used the same actor and now that we have all this information on what variants are because of loki i'm just gonna tell you right now that was our first tease at this whole multiverse happening right before our eyes we've already been messing with time travel with infinity war endgame 
And now, you know, with Loki happening, we are, we've stayed messing with time travel and, you know, multiverses and all this different stuff going back and forth and back and forth. And there's a variant of you here, variant of you there to the point where we can literally have several different types of variants of you from several different universes. I, I, I really do feel like the idea of seeing Venom in the MCU is, is pretty, like, likely. You know what I'm saying? So with all that being said, let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like Venom has a chance? Do you think that Venom might actually show up in the future? How soon do you think he'll show up? Or do you think that we might see some kind of cameo or tease in his upcoming uh, Venom to let there be carnage? That's a very, very dope title so let me know all that and more in the comments make sure you guys are liking sharing subscribing as always make sure you're hitting that thumbs up please 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 hit me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links of course as always as far and and of course this article will be in the description as as well take care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time